everybody, welcome back to Swift Lessons for another lead guitar tutorial. In today's session, we're gonna be putting our minor pentatonic scales and also our minor blues scale to work as I break down Jimmy Page's solo for Led Zeppelin's Whole Lot of Love. I'm gonna break it down lick by lick and you can follow along using my tablature at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. Support the channel there and gain access to a ton of extra resources for all my popular YouTube guitar lessons. Now, let's get started. Okay, a close look at the fretboard, getting started with lick number one. Here, Jimmy's in the 12th fret position playing the E minor. Blues scale. The lick sounds like this. Bum, bum. And real slow. Okay, breaking that down, we're starting off bending the 14th fret of the G string up about a full step, and then we're gonna use our index finger to bar across the 12th fret of the B string and high E string, like this. Okay, from there, we're gonna play 15 down to 12 on the B string, plucking each note. Put that together and we have... Okay, now digging into the blues scale, 15 on the G. Pull off, 14 down to 12. So far you have. Okay, then finishing up the lick, we're just gonna play 14 down to 12. And then bend the 14th fret of the G string up, nice and slow. With a little bit of vibrato. Okay, put that lick together and we have. And a little bit faster. Okay, now moving on to lick number two. It's gonna look and sound like this. One more time, a little bit faster. Okay, this one we need to break up into different sections. Okay, so part one of two will sound like this. At full speed. It's a very gnarly lick. He's sliding up into the E minor pentatonic scale in what we call a D minor position. So an E minor chord in its D shaped position. That's the position that he's playing in here. Okay, so he's sliding from the second fret of the G string up to the fourth fret. Then grabbing the third fret of the B string before sliding back down to the second fret of the G string. Okay, now he's in the open position of the E minor pentatonic scale. Okay, so so far you have. Okay, then he gets real manic with it. O two O O two O. Okay, using some pull offs. Okay, that's part one of this lick. Making sure to keep my pick alternating. Okay, now part two of this lick is gonna sound like this. Okay, so that was the D string, 2-0-2-0 oh, oh, with some pull-offs and hammer-ons. I then just 2-0 oh on the A string. Okay, to finish up that lick. Now, if I'm listening really close to the original recording, I hear him play that lick. And I can almost hear him play the low E string just as the kind of riff comes in. Okay, so playing through that entire lick one more time, real slow, it should sound like this. All right, so it's speeding up at the end. Now, this is one of those licks that's really kind of crazy. It's never gonna sound the same uh, twice in a row. So just get used to there being some variation in this part of the solo. Okay, now putting licks one and two together, it should sound like this. All right, now moving on to lick number three. I love this lick. Uh, it's gonna sound like this. Real slow.
Okay, so very similar to lick number one in the way it starts. We're on the 14th fret of the G string, bending that up again. 12, 12, B string and high E. All right, then we're going to the 15th fret of the B string, bending twice. All right, then we're gonna grab 15 on the high E with the pinky, so. And then bend the 15th fret of the B string up once more. Notice how he's doing this thing at the end of these licks where he's bending the string nice and slow and doing some heavy vibrato. Okay, so that lick one more time. Okay, now moving on to lick number four. This one's really cool because he's uh, utilizing one of his uh, most iconic tricks, the super bend. Sounds like this. Okay, so I'm on the 17th fret of the B string. I'm gonna go from there up to 20. Now I'm letting that note ring out and I'm gonna bend it up about two whole steps. You just gotta get used to that sound. All right, from there we're gonna play. He's going a little BB King with it here. So that was the 17th fret of the B string, 18 on the G, and then a pull off, uh, 20 down to 17. You put that whole look together and we have. And at full speed. Okay, so now you have four licks to practice. I'm gonna play them all in a row and try to mimic the rhythm for you. So. Okay, now moving on to the next lick. It's gonna sound like this, really cool. Okay, so he's playing 17th fret of the B string. Bend in, big time, full step. 19th fret of the high E. Then going chromatic with it. 19, 18, 17. So far you have. That's something to always remember that you can do in this kind of BB's box position. All right, from there, a pull off. We're going uh, 20 down to 17 and then pluck in both of those notes, 2017. Okay, put that together and we've got. All right, now the last lick of the solo is gonna sound like this. Getting very traditional with it one more time. Okay, so 17 going up to 19 on the B string. Next, we're gonna bend the 19th fret of the B string three times, getting a little bit higher with each of those bends. All right, then grab 19 with your pinky underneath. And then we're going to resolve and vibrato. On the 17th fret of the B string with some heavy vibrato, and I like to do a little slide away there. Okay, put that together and we have the final lick. Okay, now playing through the entire solo at a slow tempo, it should sound like this. Just like that. All right, friends, thanks so much for checking out this lesson on Jimmy Page's solo for a whole lot of love. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below, and also let me know which solos you would like me to break down next. Big thanks to my supporters at patreon.com slash Swift Lessons. Hope you're enjoying all those extra resources. And thanks to you guys, I got many more lessons coming up, so keep checking in. Please subscribe, please share. This is Robert Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia, saying happy picking.